Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Command & Conquer Rivals Replay Request. We're continuing on with Terror, coming up against Hesse B1 of the Drop Bears. Likely an Australian group. If you don't know what Drop Bears are, look them up. They're pretty funny things. But let's see what Hesse has in store. Double infantry, so with the rifles and the missiles, into one air. So hammerheads for air superiority, and then triple tech. So, again, this is a little bit more of an oddity to me because maybe perhaps I'm just a bit skewed, right? I watch Alicia Destiny, I watch Mav, I watch Fallen. These guys are like the top 10. I think Mav is number 7 right now. Uh, and these guys are like the top 10. So I see a lot more simplistic builds, but tech builds can work in some scenarios. Uh, this definitely looks like a double harvester, though, from Hesse. So we'll have to see if that will, uh, if he can even get off the ground. So, Terror actually running uh, GDI this time. Probably should have said something about that instead of his nod builds that we did just record. Uh, but Liang, so he has a repair bot. Don't get to see a lot of big uses of repair bots uh, in, in at least the higher levels. I don't really see a lot of Liang in general. I know he has his uses, and there's definitely some decks that I've lost to that are Liang, but I don't know. In terms of like the higher play, just seems to be a little less than a crowd favorite. So a little bit of footsies, we start off Harvesters, double infantry from Hesse, trying to put up some uh, pressure up against the Harvester, but double shocks actually come out from Terror. Might have been a bit of an overcommit. Triple shocks. Just really gonna go for some early game domination. Uh, now, we know that Hesse doesn't have snipers, and we know that Hesse doesn't have rhinos. Either of those would have shut this down. Like, this is a pretty significant Tiberium investment from Terror this early on without seeing any real threats out there. He hasn't done any scouting. And Hesse has double harvester. Now, I think Terror now knows that, moving those those shocks to that very bottom right point. I'm pretty sure he now knows that. But Hesse's been double. There's not been any problems moving forward. Goes into the tech, gets himself a Wolverine. Terror don't know if he actually expected that, but he had a tank out. So the tank will take down most of this Wolverine. This will be the first missile pretty easily over to Terror. But the missile is done. We have an APC coming out. Lol? Question mark. We also have a Titan now on board here from Hesse. So Hesse is going to move that around. Make sure you get that shot on top of the Predator tank. We'll be able to two-shot it here momentarily. Uh, but again, there's no pressure here from Terror. Terror's not moving forward. He's not making Hesse play defensively. This is actually a bad spot for Terror. He has the first missile. That's the only thing that's really going to give him any kind of big hope in this game. Because if he can win this next one, he wins. He's just done. He doesn't worry about the tech. But that's a bit of a tall order. Uh, shocks are not going to get any value out of this. Not against this big machine opening. Double Wolverines would take down any missiles, any shocks, any zone troopers, I would want to say. Uh, so we're actually in a very terrifying spot. Hesse has four tech units out. The Titan is getting shots. That's going to be an ion cannon that takes down four units. <laughs> so we're going from bad to worse here. Uh, Terror is not going to be able to deal with those zone troopers. Not with that pit bull at any rate. The shocks will get some work done, but it doesn't matter. They're too late. Hesse takes missiles too. So now... It's going to be footsies. Hesse has kind of like shown his entire deck at this point, right? We're not going to see any air from Terror. It's all tech units. Wolverines to deal with the infantry, zones and titans to deal with the vehicles. And honestly, I don't think Terror can deal with this anymore. I don't think his tech is going to be good enough, and he doesn't really have the positioning, and he just keeps losing units. It's just throwing Tiberium into the wind. Right? That's going to be an Ion Cannon, which means that's an expensive kill on top of a 40 cost unit. But it's all about this missile right now, right? We're trying to reduce the amount of threats to these zone troopers. The Wolverines come out. They're going to shred those uh, shocks. The zone troopers are there. They're going to shred that tank. The Liang passive is not going to be working any wonders here. And just, yeah, you got to throw away that Wolverine. That's a good move there, Hesse in the bottom corner. I say that, but he doesn't even lose it. <laughs> it's just, you're blocked out. Terra needed to be a lot more aggressive on this one, and he just wasn't. The double harvester in peace kind of just allowed Hesse to, to win that one out. So there you go, guys. You see that double harvester, you got to get aggressive. And <laughs> a four tech deck. You just don't see that every day. Can't really say that Terra would have expected it either, but 
if you don't if, if you lose that first missile and they're double harvesting you're probably already over anyways but getting that first one just prolonged it and not having answers kind of put him in the ground <laughs>